Hi, I'm Kevin Flynn, the General Manager at Oasis Engineering in New Zealand. And today I'm going to show you how to re-kit an Oasis check valve. To re-kit an Oasis check valve, what you need is a genuine Oasis seal kit. And we also recommend that you have the instructions. If you don't have a copy of the instructions, we do send them out with the seal kits. Then you can download them from www.oasisngv.com. The instruction booklet tells you everything you need to know to re-kit the valve and it also tells you the sizes of the tools that you need beforehand. So once you've got your kit and your valve and you're ready to go, the first thing you need to do is to remove the cap. To remove the cap you take a suitable size spanner, place the valve in a vise and you undo the cap. The cap will then unscrew as such and inside you will find the poppet parts. What we have here is a spring, a poppet assembly and on the cap we have an oven. And it is simple as that. The new kit that you will be sent has the poppet assembly and the o-ring. So to reassemble the valve, what we recommend is that you put some silicone grease onto the o-ring and you put some anti-seize onto the thread of the cap. You then put the o-ring over the cap as such, pushing it all the way down. You then place a spring onto the cap and you take the pop it and pop it onto the spring so that the end of the pop it goes through the cap as such. The body will then fit over the cap and you can screw the two together. You then take the valve, pop it in a vise and tighten the cap. There are torque settings in the manual but if you don't have a torque wrench then you just make sure the cap is very very tight onto the body. Tighten it as tight as you can. And there we have a re-kitted check valve. 